Alright, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. I'm Matt Hoffman or Lord Ned and today I'm going to teach you the basic navigation of Hammer Editor. Go ahead and launch it already if you haven't and let it load. Once it loads, go File, New. This will present to you with either one window or four windows. If you're presented with one big window, press either Control A or go View, Auto Size, Four Views. I'm going to go ahead and load up an example map to teach you guys, so don't worry about trying to make what I have, just go ahead and listen along. Again, don't worry about what I've got here, just go ahead and follow along. I'm just using the level so you can see what's happening. First, we're going to learn how to effectively use our four viewports. This is the top viewport. It has a top-down view of your level. This is a side viewport, and this one is also a side. These can tell you different things about your level. It gives you different perspective. It's much like any other editor or 3D modeling application. This is a 3D viewport. This allows you to navigate through your map in a 3D view and see things. First we're going to hit Shift Z after clicking in the window and it will maximize the window for us. If you want to get out of this you can press Shift Z again or Control A which has the same effect. You can also maximize the side viewports by clicking in them and pressing Shift Z. It works for any of them and all you have to do is middle click or left click or right click in it somewhere and hit shift C. There are two ways to navigate through the Hammer 3D viewport. You can use W, A, S, and D and the arrow keys to navigate around like this and fly around. Remember you have to click in the window first so that you Hammer knows that you're trying to move in this window. You can also use the Z method which is called free look. Go ahead and press Z and you should, your mouse should turn into a crosshair can now look around with your mouse and then zoom around with the W, A, S, and D keys. Go ahead and play around with these for a while and get experience with switching between the modes. Use whatever preference you have with moving around the world, whether it's the free look mode or the arrow keys mode. Also, if you want to resize your views so that you have a bigger 3D or a smaller 2D, all you got to do is click on the middle of this thing and drag. You can also do left and right by clicking there. Again, if you mess up, don't worry about it. Just hit Control A and I'll reset them to normal. Go ahead, play around with moving around in a 3D world. I've included the example map here with this tutorial, so all you gotta do to open that is go File, Open, and then pick where you've got the file and just go ahead and click Open, and you can load it up and fly around in it. If you've got any comments or questions, go ahead and email us at valvehammertutorials at gmail.com or drop us a line on YouTube, leave us a comment on the video, etc. We'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching.